Welcome back to the Daily Base Report. Coach Matt coming at you with another video. I apologize for not getting a video up yesterday, but it was a national holiday and I had to celebrate, so I apologize. Anyways, without further ado, let's get into the video. Welcome back to another episode of the Daily Base Report. Coach Matt coming at you again with another video. And if you haven't ever been here before, you should definitely subscribe. 100% subscribe to the channel. Hit a notification bell because you don't want to miss anything that the channel posts. And smash the like button because it really helps the YouTube algorithm. We are on the road to 1K by opening day, so please share this video with everyone that you can. I would really appreciate it. And to start things off, we're going to talk about the Tampa Bay Rays and the Pittsburgh Pirates. Tyler Glasnow pitched in this game, and he pitched four innings, gave up six hits, four runs, all of them were earned. He had one walk and seven strikeouts. So it's apparent that he is definitely has the stuff. He strikes out seven guys. Every game, this guy's got five to six or seven strikeouts every time. So... What's the deal? Why is this guy still getting shelled? Like, I thought he was developing a new pitch. Bryant Hayes had an RBI single. That's a guy we got to keep an eye on. The guy's awesome, and I can't wait to see this guy play every day. Also in this game, it was kind of a slugfest as it was 10-9. to Joy Wendell went 3-for-3. Three three. Austin Meadows hit a bomb. And Wander Franco had an RBI single in the first. Moving over to the Boston Red Sox, and yet again, this guy we've been talking about all spring... Bobby Dahlbeck hit another grand slam. This guy is so good. And Alex Verdugo and Kiki Hernandez have seemed to have cooled way off because they're now both hitting 100 and 270. Moving over to the Philadelphia Phillies, Bryce Harper went over three with three strikeouts. And Odubel Herrera hit another home run. That's his third home run of the spring. And I want to know what you guys think in the comment section below. What do you think about his situation off the, all the off the field stuff that is potentially going to be problematic in the clubhouse. What do you think? Do you think he deserves the shot to be in the major leagues? Do you think he deserves to be even employable by any major league team? It's somewhat similar to the Domingo Herman uh, situation. What do you think of Odubel Herrera and his first off his ability to come back and play at such a high level, but also on the other side, his off the field antics and what that can play into. And Zach Wheeler pitched for the Phillies, and he pitched really great. He pitched five innings, scattered four hits, had four strikeouts, and he's dropped his ERA to 4.05. Francisco Lindor had two hits for the Mets. He was two for three, raising his average to 280. I think he's starting to find his stride and get pretty comfortable over there with the New York Mets. Albert Almora Jr. had a double with two RBIs to lead the offense past the Marlins. Jazz Chisholm for the Miami Marlins hit a home run. Sandy Alcantara of the Miami Marlins pitched, and he actually pitched pretty great. He pitched five innings, gave up three hits, no earned runs. He struck out nine batters. His spring ERA is still zero. Incredible job. Incredible. The New York Yankees. I feel like we have to talk about these two guys every time they come up. The Yankees, Judge, Aaron Judge, and Giancarlo Stanton both had two hits apiece. Those guys, if they're dialed in, watch out, AL East. My goodness. DJ LeMahieu also had a stolen base. Jordan Montgomery pitched five innings, gave up one walk and four strikeouts, and his ERA is down to 0 0.90. Moving over to the Kansas City Royals and the Oakland Athletics, Mike Miner did not pitch well. He did not. He pitched 3.1 innings, gave up seven hits, six runs, four of them were earned, and he had three strikeouts, raising his ERA to 5.4. Hunter Dozier hit a home run. If you remember, he just signed that big extension with the Royals. He is the future third baseman for them. He went two for three with a run scored in an RBI and two RBIs, and he raised his spring average to 227. Ryan McBroom also hit a home run. That is just such a cool name. Ryan McBroom. That's a cool name. And Bobby Witt Jr. had a pinch hit single. Because we all want to know how Bobby Witt Jr. does. For the Oakland Athletics, Matt Olson hit a home run. Aramis Garcia had two doubles. Elvis Andrews hit a double. As well as Jed Lowry, who had two doubles. 
Walker Bueller of the Los Angeles Dodgers pitched four innings. He gave up five hits. He gave up one run. That run was not earned. He had one walk and five strikeouts. Kenley Jansen, Corey Kniebel, Scott Alexander, all pitched clean innings. Austin Barnes had two hits. Will Smith hit his first spring home run. On the other side of the ball, Matt Reynolds hit a home run for the Chicago White Sox. Lucas Giolito pitched 3.2 innings, gave up three hits, two runs. They were both earned, and he had six strikeouts. It seems that Elliot Ramos of the San Francisco Giants has cooled off. He went 0 for 2, lowering his average to 385. I know it's spring training, so the, uh, the stats are a little bit bloated for most people. But that being said, that's probably going to give the Giants a little bit of ammo behind their shot of saying that he's going to start at AAA. Another way of uh, delaying his major league time a little longer. Austin Slater had two hits. And Alex Dickerson had three hits out of five at-bats. Dickerson did hit a home run. And Jason Crisen went three for three with a home run, two runs, and two RBIs. Kevin Gosman pitched for the Giants. He pitched 2.1 innings, gave up three hits, three runs. One run was earned, and he had three strikeouts, lowering his ERA to 208. Herman Marquez pitched for the Colorado Rockies. He pitched five innings, gave up six hits, gave up three runs, they were both earned, and he had six strikeouts. Jose Altuve of the Houston Asterix hit a for his first spring home run. And I don't remember last time this guy hit a home run. So it's kind of interesting. I mean, I think the last home run I saw him hit was against Aroldis Chapman in the 2019 ALCS to win the ALCS. So you know, that was the last time I remember him hitting a home run. So, and the six foot seven Taylor Jones hit a home run also for the Houston Asterix. Tommy Edmond of the St. Louis Cardinals went three for three with a run scored, raising his average to 417. And Paul Goldschmidt hit a home run for the St. Louis Cardinals. Adam Wainwright pitched and he pitched 4.2 innings, had gave up five hits. Two runs, they are both earned, one walk, and he had four strikeouts. His ERA is currently 1.98. Moving over to the Baltimore Orioles versus the Atlanta Braves. Austin Hayes of the Orioles went three for three with two doubles. A run scored in two RBIs, raising his spring average to 370 and his on-base percentage of 1.100. Trey Mancini went one for four. He's hitting 292, quietly having a solid spring training after recovering from cancer and having the entire 2020 season off. Ronald Acuna Jr. went 0 for 2. He did not hit a home run in this game, so sadly his streak has ended. His batting average is currently 1.92. Ozzy Albies hit his second home run of the spring. He went 1 for 3, and his batting average is currently 286 for spring training. Charlie Morton pitched for the Braves, and he pitched 4.1 innings. He gave up four hits, one run. It was not an earned run. And he had four strikeouts with a walk. And his ERA is currently zero. Mike Freeman and Nick Cassianos both hit home runs for the Cincinnati Reds. Nick Cassianos went two for two with one run and one RBI. He's raised his average to 391 and his on-base percentage to 1.199. Mike Freeman went two for four with two runs, two RBIs. And he raised his average to 304. Tyler Naquin... Went two for three with two runs scored. One of his hits was a double. Luis Castillo pitched, and he pitched three innings. He had three hits, gave up two walks and two strikeouts, and his ERA is still zero for the spring training. Moving over to the San Diego Padres and the Chicago Cubs, Chris Paddock pitched for the San Diego Padres, and he is still average as always. He pitched 1.2 innings, gave up four hits, four runs. They were all, they were all earned runs. He walked three batters in typical... Uh, Chris Paddock fashion, and he struck out two. His ERA is currently 5.19. Tommy Pham went three for three with a run scored. Jake Cronenworth went one for three with a triple. He scored a run and an RBI. And Manny Machado went one for two with an RBI. Jock Tober for the Chicago Cubs went one for two with a double. He's currently hitting 500 with a on-base percentage of 1.755. This is literally video game numbers for this guy. Wilson Contreras... Went three for four with a run and five RBIs. And Anthony Rizzo hit a home run. Ian Happ had two hits and scored three runs. And Kyle Hendricks pitched for the Chicago Cubs. He pitched 3.1 innings. 
He gave up four hits, two runs. They were both earned, one walk, and he had four strikeouts for an ERA of 6.4. The good news is for the Chicago Cubs is that Craig Kimbrell pitched an inning where he did not give up any runs, and his ERA has dropped to 22. Moving over to the Anaheim Angels versus the Seattle Mariners. Jose Quintana pitched yet again. He had his, his uh, second win. He pitched 3.2 innings, two hits. He had three walks and six strikeouts. His spring ERA is still zero. Shohei Otani went one for one with two runs scored and a walk. And he is currently hitting 600 with a 1.809 OPS. This guy is literally, he's literally a video game. He got video game stats. It's insane. Kyle Seeger went one for two, and he's quietly hitting 375 for the Seattle Mariners. Evan White hit his first home run of the spring, and it was a grand slam. Well, that does it for today's video. I'm going to go into my hat reference really quick. So what you see here is a sprinter hat. And no, it doesn't mean like sprinters and you're going to attract athlete who sprints. It actually is a Mercedes Sprinter that is actually my current vehicle. I absolutely love this thing. We take the van everywhere. It's awesome. I love having this thing. So that is why I have the Sprinter hat. And there's your hat reference for the day. Without further ado, we will see you next time. So please hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell, and smash the like button for the YouTube algorithm. And without further ado, we will see you tomorrow.